Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the brake caliper boots and replacing them. And as you can see, they are pressed in, so they're kind of a pain to get out. Inside the caliper, you also have these rubber pieces here um, that help with the, with the slide pins. So I'm going to show you how to get that out as well. So as you can see, it's down there pretty good. They're pressed in. You can't just pull them out, especially if they're old. So what you're going to need to do is get under this lip right here. Um, the best way that I found to do it is to get a flathead screwdriver and hammer it from this side. Use one that you don't that you don't like, and hammer it and get under that lip and work around the edges, and then you can just pry it right out. So every time you get under the lip, you just want to pry back on it a little bit and just see if it starts coming out. If it doesn't, then just keep working around the edge. Once you start working all the sides, it'll start coming up slowly. And now, right before it pops out, you want to turn it upside down. Because from all that, you're going to have a little bit of metal. You're gonna have some metal pieces and you don't want them to fall into the caliper or into the uh, bracket. So you wanna make sure that it's upside down so none of that falls in there. And then, so we got that out. And just be careful while you're doing that, you're not scoring up the uh, the bracket here and damaging it. I'm just using this pick tool here. I got this at Harbor Freight. It was like 99 cents or something like that. But you can see that it has this curve with the pick at the end. And that allows you to actually go right down into the hole and just grab it with a pick and then pull it back out. But there's the rubber boot in here. Just be careful not to score the sides. Once you do that, pulls it right out. So we have the new one here. And we're just going to drop that back in. I got this Craftsman um, screwdriver, but with the the bit set at the end. What I'm actually do is use this to push the grommet in. I don't want to use a flathead screwdriver or anything because I don't want to damage it. But I'm just going to get on it like that and just push it down. And then that's it. So now this is the hard part is getting the new ones back in. So you want to make sure that you're not damaging the boot. And you're not damaging any part of the metal that's going to get pressed in. And you want to make sure that when you're placing it in, it is straight. And you're going to need a 21 uh, millimeter socket. And that's going to go right over the boot. But it's going to be just good enough that, it, that it'll sit on the uh, metal flange. Kind of like when you're pressing in a, uh, a ball joint. You don't want to do the same thing here. So just nice and easy. Then make sure it's straight the whole time. And just do a little bit at a time and just make sure that everything's going in good. Um, one thing you could do to help is to put a little bit of grease at the bottom. But you want to take your time with this. You don't want to damage them. They don't give you extras in the pack. You're going to want to stop right when the surface meets with the bracket. You don't want to damage it. All right. So that's it for that. Now you gotta be really careful with this. Um, even as careful as I was trying to be, I still kind of damaged the rubber a little bit. Not the boot, but just the, the surface on the outside. It's not a big deal, cause that doesn't really do too much. It's the, the boot itself that you don't wanna damage or at the base right here. You wanna make sure you do not damage that. So you cannot use the socket that even touches the boot. It has to kind of go on the outside. Um, it could touch the boot a little bit, but so I use the 21 millimeter. And it seemed to work pretty good. And then while you're doing it and you have it on 
and you have it on there like that, you want to hold it down with your finger and create downward pressure so that that way every time you're hammering it, the socket isn't bouncing back up. So I'm going to take some grease from the old one here. Or even some new grease. And I'm just going to place it right around the outside there. Just a little bit, not a lot. So now mine started going in kind of crooked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hammer just on that side that's crooked to get it back to being even. 